The BJP held an emergency meet to formulate a strategy to counter the opposition's cry to restore Article 370. Over 100 BJP leaders, civil society members and social religious organization heads attended the meet. This comes a day after the national conference. PDP along with four other regional parties vowed to restore Jammu and Kashmir's special status and announce the alliance. The opposition party is vowed to work further on the Gupkar Declaration, a resolution issued on the 4th of August 2019, a day before Article 370 was abrogated in the parliament. Former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Farooq Abdullah demanded restoration of Jammu and Kashmir's special status and immediate release of all political prisoners. We are committed to the Gupkar Declaration, which is why... The name makes it very clear. It is the People's Alliance for the Gupkar Declaration. The name in itself should, should make it very clear that we are coming together to re-emphasize that we are committed to, rest, to, to fighting using all constitutional and peaceful means uh, for the restoration of what was snatched from us, we believe, illegally and unconstitutionally on the 5th of August 2019 in the Parliament of India. It is nothing but a move to disturb the peace and harmony in Jammu and Kashmir. These Gupkar Alliance leaders are dancing on the tones of Pakistan and China. The heads of all the social and religious organizations that took part in today's meeting convened by Jammu and Kashmir BJP, they have unanimously resolved to fight out against the anti-national agenda of Abdullah Parivar and Mufti Parivar. These people have always exploited the people of Kashmir. You have seen that when the 370 and 35 years ago, there was no peace in Kashmir. The government is working in that country. They want peace from 90% of the people. They want development, they want to go. Now, when the process will start again, the rest of the society will participate in that process. And those who have this opinion, I think that the society of Kashmir will reject them in the time of Kashmir. We sat together, all the political parties, uh, on 4th August 2019, tried to uh, uh, ask the government of India to desist from for any kind of uh, fiddling with the constitutional status of Jammu and Kashmir. And we have this one year of incarceration, detentions, object of the alliances to achieve uh, our goal, to reach our goal, to, uh, and to have the special status restored territorial integrity restored and articles 370 and 335A restored. Now we are going to cut across to Sunil Chiba joining us live for more details. Sunil, we are uh, hearing that the BJP is now gathered for an emergency meet over 100 uh, organizations. Um, you have BJP leaders themselves in huge numbers gathering to discuss on what next here. This comes just a day after all the main political parties in Jammu and Kashmir came together and have announced an alliance, have promised to restore Article 370. Absolutely, Nabila. Uh, yesterday, uh, Kashmir-based political parties formed People's Alliance for Gupkar Declaration. And the formation of this alliance has drawn sharp reactions from Jammu region. Yesterday we saw protests from many organizations and today BJP organized a important meet here in Jammu and uh, many leaders of the party, top leaders of Jammu and Kashmir BJP attended this meeting and many social and religious organizations were also invited to this meeting. The BJP wants to ensure that there is unanimity from Jammu region as far as countering the Kashmir-based political parties is concerned. And that is why many leaders from social and religious organizations were invited. Uh, people from Jammu and Kashmir High Court Bar Association were invited. And all of them vowed jointly that they are going to oppose uh, the Gupkar Declaration and they are not going to allow uh, this agenda of Gupkar Declaration to succeed in Jammu and Kashmir. Speaking to India today after the meeting, Jammu and Kashmir BJP Chief Ravinder Raina clear said that the BJP is not going to allow the restoration of Article 370 right. and that Mufti and Abdullah were daydreaming about the restoration of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir. He said it's a history now and it's not going to be restored. Tabila. Right, Sunil, thank you very much for joining us with those details on that. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.